Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, March 23rd, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, for most of these currency pairs that we're going to look at, they are very green today, but well, that's it's been a really choppy day. So the US dollar started depreciating today, and that, of course, affected most of these currency pairs uh, very positively. So the Great British Pound US dollar, as you can see, we're up 0 0.15. We did fall and, and then rally above the 50 moving week average until we just settled right at the 50 and the 40 exponential moving average. So at this point, if we break these previous lows here, then we'll probably go and go towards 100 roughly at 13.69 if we manage to take above uh, uh, take above the, the 20 exponential moving average here then we'll go and head towards these previous signs of roughly 14.00 uh, uh, zero. so if that is the case and we'll break above the 20 exponential then we'll probably also go head towards these previous highs here that's around uh, roughly at the 14.22 technically the good they are well they are fairly bearish or flat at this current stage. You can see the stochastic is very bearish. The, the MACD is also bearish. And we're heading right into negative territory. So we're heading into a negative trend here. And we have the RSI and the CCI that are flat at this current stage. So there has not been a lot of movement. We've just been sticking around here at the 50 moving average for quite a long time. Pull back towards the 250 and then rally. And we're just basically just seeing more of the same. We have not seen these kinds of move for a really long time. So at this current stage, we are just hanging around here. Break below here, that could open the door to, to the 100, and 100 moving average. A break above the 20 exponential, well, that could head us back towards these previous highs. So let's look at the US dollar, Japanese yen. And yes, we are just trading sideways as what was basically expected. At this point, we are either going to break towards the 40 exponential or rally. Um, technically, they are very bearish at this current stage. So according to this, we may break lower. But usually when you trade sideways like this, it just you have a pop to the upside. So we could see a move towards 110. That is possible. But and still, until now, we are just, just doing more of the same. So it will show within the next few trading days what basically will happen here, whether or not we break towards the, 100, the 40 exponential at 107, or we break towards the 110. Technical indicators, as you said, MACD is bearish, the stochastic is bearish, the CC, RSI is bearish, and so is also the CCI. We're right above here in the middle of the bullish band. So at this point, we could see a move towards the top of the bullish band, which is around 110. So let's look at the euro US dollar. So even though the US dollar depreciated today quite significantly, we did not manage to break above the 200 moving average. So at this current stage, it is looking fairly, um, fairly negative for, for the euro US dollar. If we have an appreciation of the US dollar tomorrow, we could see this tumble towards the 300 moving, moving average down here. We're also seeing the crossing of several um, several uh, moving averages here, and usually that is not a very a good sign. So this is this trend looks like it is changing, it has been doing that for a quite a long time now. And because we cannot manage to break above the 200 moving average, we could see this drop all the way down to 11.67. Break above the 200 moving average, well, that opens the door to the 150, 40, 50. So there's a lot of resistance just above. Technically, at this current stage, they are turning around. So we are still in negative territory here in the in the in the MACD, and the same goes for the. Uh, but we are crossing the signal line. The RSI is also bullish. The CCI is becoming bullish, and so is the stochastic, even though we're underneath the signal line here. We're just at the middle of the bullish band. If we manage to break above here, then we could head towards the top of the bullish band around 12.07. A breakdown uh, low from here could open the door, first of all, to 11.83. 
So let's look at the Aussie US dollar. And also here we have tried to rally, but we have settled right at the 50, 40 um, and 20 exponential moving average. We're basically all of the, at the same point. Technical indicators, they are either, well, basically very flat at the current stage. We have just been just staying in the same place for uh, the last three weeks. 200 moving average has offered a lot of uh, support. And just above here at the 0 0.78 has also offered quite a lot of resistance. So we've just been going back and forward and we haven't seen these uh, massive move trends to the upside. We are still technically in an uptrend, but the last three weeks just going sideways. A break above the 20 exponential that could open the door to 0 0.78 and then to 0 0.8. And to break down from here, the 100 moving average most likely offered quite a lot of support as it has uh, the last few weeks. So US dollar, Canadian dollar, as you can see, we did break down quite significantly last week, all the way down to uh, 1237. Uh, and since then we have rallied. So we are technically, we have been in a downtrend now for basically a year and uh, rallies towards the 20, 40, and the 50 have all been sold into uh, every time we basically rally to those points. And that is basically what we're again seeing here. We are rallying up towards the 20, and then we are basically starting to sell off. If we manage to get to the 50, we'll most likely see something similar to this. So target here is basically these prior previous lows. There's no reason to, to, um, to start buying into a downtrend every uh, rally from here has basically been sold into technical indicators they are turning around so we may see this go higher before we go lower so hope you find this helpful you're welcome to support the channel by subscribing hit the like button above to see your newest videos and you're welcome to join us over at patreon the link is down below good luck and thank you very much